Hi everyone, I'm Brian Haker here with Tandem Cross at SHOT Show 2018 in booth 818 and I'm here with Andy Fink from Junior Shooters Magazine. Andy, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, you know, I know you've been doing Junior, sh junior shooter, Shooters Magazine for quite some time. Tell me, for people who might not know what that is, why don't you describe it to our viewers? Oh, thank you. I appreciate being here. Uh, junior Shooters Magazine is dedicated to juniors 8 through 20. Uh, the whole idea is to be able to provide more information about the shooting sports. We cover all of the shooting sports. And that could be a BB gun. Like, a lot of people don't know that there's an interna a national BB gun championship. Huh. Team championship with BB guns. Or it could be shooting three gun or sporting plays. Uh, USPSA, IDPA, all of these different events, even long range rifle shooting, whether it's 22 or whether it's center fire. So every single sport, shooting sport that's out there, including hunting, we have juniors involved in. So Andy, um, you know, you walk around SHOT Show, you see a lot of products, a lot of advertising is marketed towards adults. What made you want to focus more on the junior aspect of, uh, the, from the magazine perspective? Well, juniors are our lifeblood. They're our future of the shooting sports. Without more juniors getting involved in the shooting sports, we're not gonna have any. You know, sometimes right. it's, it's interesting when I go around, of course, I need sponsors and, and I need advertising to be able to keep the magazine going. And sometimes I'll talk to somebody and say, you know, we cover these juniors and they'll look at me and say, that's not my market. And I ask why and they say, well, because the juniors don't pay for anything. And I say, the parents pay for it naturally. I mean, every time you look at football, baseball, basketball, volleyball, soccer, you know, that's a big expense that the families sure. have to pay. Shooting is just another sport. And it's something that all juniors should be having the capability to do. So I decided that, that we needed a magazine out there that was dedicated to the juniors and their families. Actually, 60% of our readership are adults. It's interesting. Uh, the re and they keep the magazine. The reason is, that they want to pass it on to another family, another kid, somebody else interested that may be interested. I get calls at least once, twice a month from parents, moms as well as dads all across the country saying, how do I get my kids started in shooting sports? And of course, one of the big things we want to talk about is Rimfire Challenge. Now, do you know anybody that uh, supports <laughs> Rimfire Challenge? Right? There, there might be a few brands out there that do that, uh, especially one in green, red, and black. Okay. <laughs> but, um, so one of the things I think is really interesting about your magazine is you don't just enlist um, adult writers for your magazine. You actually go out and you find those um, inspiring and passionate youths that write articles for your magazine. If there are, are youths out there that might want to do articles for your magazine, uh, how would they get connected with you? Uh, they can contact me at the magazine. We're, we're on the website. It's uh, www.juniorshooters.net. My email address is publisher at juniorshooters.net, and junior's all spelled out. And 65% of the articles are written by the juniors. And out of the other 35%, I would say 20, 25% still has junior input. So when I get a product into review, whether it's a gun or a holster, or your products, as you know, I go choose one of our junior writers and I say, I want you to do product review. Uh, we also have a, a junior shooter shooting team. I've got about 35 plus kids all across the country that wear our junior shooter shirt. And a couple of the kids are gonna talk with you later. And they, are, they have to sign a junior shooter's creed. And the creed says how they have to act, how they have to represent the magazine, how they right. have to represent the sponsors, what they're supposed to do on the product, uh, how they got to behave, and school comes first. If their grades go down, I don't want them shooting. 
don't come to our practices if you've got an F. You go home and study. I like that. So they they got responsibility. I don't just hold, hand them a gun and say, oh, come on, go out and shoot. You've got responsibility. You've got to learn something. And that brings juniors more involved in the shooting sport, not just to go out clicking. But what does it mean? What kind of responsibility should you have? And the other thing that, that we do in the magazine is something a little bit different. Every issue has a column on safety, gun safety, gun safety, gun safety. There's so many things about safety. And the kids are part of the team that we train they're probably 95% safer than any of the adults out on the range. What a great focus, and we gotta start young with those safe practices as adults. It sounds like you're doing so much great things in the market. I know we've advertised with you in the past, the, you've written articles on our stuff in the past, yeah. and they're written by juniors, and the quality of the articles was really great. Yeah. Better than most adult articles I've seen out there. Very impressive. Thank you all for your hard work. Um, and Thank I'm, you. If you don't mind, I'd like to talk to a couple of your team members and about um, what junior shooter means to them and, and uh, where they've come from. Is that okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you. So I have with me here uh, Ricky Marston and Ben Moody from the Junior Shooter Shooting Team. Um, we just had a, a good conversation with Andy Fink. Um, they are two shooters that joined the shooting team to improve their uh, their shooting capability and also to compete in the various sports. So um, why don't we start with you, Ben? Um, for what kind of shooting do you do for Junior Shooters Magazine? Um, I shoot mostly three gun, but lately been shooting a lot of long range precision, but also uh, steel challenge and. Um, small board. That's great. And how about you, Ricky? I shoot a lot of long range precision and three gun. That's pretty much it for me. Wonderful. Great. Well, um, just, Ben, how did you get into um, the shooting sports and what has it done for your shooting career? Yeah, uh, so I really wanted to get into shooting sports, kind of seeing it on TV, but really didn't know where to go. So we just started calling the actual the local gun ranges, and they led us to the Olympic coach, which led us to junior shooters. Wow. I was able to get into that through that. Sure. And what has the the junior shooter team done for you, Ricky, in your shooting career? Um, I always wanted to shoot with a uh, competitive, and uh, we went up to the local range, and Andy Fink was up there, and then I practiced all my skills, and I've got better, <laughs> hoping to get better. That's great. And what what age did you start at? Eleven. 11, holy moly, and you? I uh, started, it would have been 13 for me. So. That's great, what what a great start. And that really gives you a head start um, in these, these shooting sports for sure. So you guys may not realize it, um, but when you put on those jerseys, you are heroes to other young uh, youths and juniors out there who aspire, they want to get into the shooting sports, but they may not know how. Um, what kind of words of advice can you give them, Ricky? Um, to go, go to your local range, talk to people, because so most people will help you out, magazines, let you shoot their guns, whatever you need to do, and get them started. That's great advice. How about you, Ben? Yeah, same thing. I mean, I, I start out on mostly loaner guns and stuff we cobble together, and uh, they're more than happy to help you. So. Wow. Well, very good. Well, thank you guys for all thank that you, you do. Um, keep up the good work, and uh, hopefully we'll see you out on the range. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, great.